This is like a depressing game of Frogger right now, where if I screw up, I, I just kill people. Welcome back to Accident, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna go out and experience what it's like to be the first witness to dangerous vehicle accidents. This is a game that we actually checked out the demo for a little while ago and you guys really liked it. Well, the game is now indeed out and we have some more missions to check out. Ah, oh, welcome to beautiful Italy, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we're going a little too fast, but I know what's up ahead. And uh, let's just enjoy the beauty for a second because I'm a little worried at what we're going to witness today. Um, anyways, there we are. God damn, what happened? Like, why is there so many logs? Okay, hazards on. We're gonna have to call emergency services. Now there is a rewind feature in this game, so I'm gonna kinda scour the scene here and then we'll rewind back to right now just to try and get some intel so I don't let anybody die here because it looks like we have four victims you can see in the bottom left. All right, so we don't have to worry. Thank God we can rewind time. I just want to check out what's going on here. So we got one guy. Oh God, did you get impaled? I think that guy might be dead. J just a suspicion here. Now I'm not even going to be able to get across. Move along. What the, am I, am I the Hulk? Come on, I thought I had to cut it or something. Like, seriously. Okay, we got another guy in there, another woman in here, and I'm not sure where the fourth victim is. We'll have to check that out later. I was wondering if it was a logging truck or something like that, but it looks like they just fell down the mountain, possibly. Um, so yeah, let's rewind back to when I should have put the hazards out. Okay, so there we go, outside. I don't even know where my hazards are. I'm freaking out. I don't like being under pressure here. They have to be back here. Okay, so we got first aid, fire extinguisher. Where the hell is the hazards? Oh, there they, no, that, yep, that is it, okay. Whoa, that's scary. <laughs> I thought there was an animal running across the road. All right, serious face though. I mean, there's lives on the, on the line right now. So I think I only have one. Yeah, why would you bring one if you need two? Uh, do you have one? Jammed, great. All right, come on, please have something in here. Perfect, that's exactly what I need. The warning triangles. This is something that uh, I never knew I needed. I should probably put them in my vehicles in real life. All right, turn off the ignition to the vehicles now. I don't think we have a fire, so we don't have to worry too much, but obviously getting those ignitions off makes sense. Hey, I hope you're not dead. I'm sorry if you are. I'm doing my best. I'm working my fastest right now. Okay, this guy, this guy is not doing well. <laughs> is, is he impaled or what? <laughs> or is it just missing him? Okay, check all victims. I wonder, should I do this guy first? Okay, yeah, he's definitely impaled. Jesus Christ, this, this got grim quick. All right, we're gonna have to listen. I don't, oh, he is alive. Oh man, okay, th surprisingly enough, this is one of the living guys. All right, I don't even know where the fourth, Victim is um, so this is gonna be fun. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to unbuckle you? Oh, yeah Okay, I do have to un un unbuckle the seatbelt. Okay, there we go open airway Are you unlucky? Okay, we I found I found the two living I I am looking at a dead person right now I don't know why I need to do this a wound Yeah, there's definitely a gash there Yep, she's dead Total broken neck. Jesus. Is there anybody else in there? Oh, Jesus. There is another guy in there. This is so sad. <laughs> this is, this is so grim. So we have two broken necks in one car. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you get hit by something that big. Jesus Christ. All right, location. I have no idea. Just tell her. Okay, it's time to save life. So the one guy's doing a little worse than the lady. So let's grab that first aid kit and go work on him first. Something sharp needed. Okay, something sharp, something sharp. I did have a toolbox in here. Oh, perfect, utility knife. I feel like a utility knife's not really going to make this easy, but it looks like it's small enough. Keep that branch in there. We don't want him bleeding out. All right, so I gotta put on my gloves. Safety first. Um, dress the wound around the object, okay. Cut that shirt, there we go. Grab the dressing. Oh, this is stressful, man, because he is slowly dying as I'm taking my time. Apply pressure, done. Oh wait, did the other lady die? Or did you guys just arrive on time? Okay, the other lady was quite healthy, all things considered, so that's cool. Um, I guess we didn't have to, or we didn't have time, rather, to help her. All right, well, that went quick, man. That was really, really stressful for me. But now, this is where this game kind of gets cool. You have to uh, 
kind of figure out what exactly happened here. So basically, you're going around looking for clues, and then you put all those clues together. Obviously, this has got to be a clue. One of the log smashes in the car behind. You don't say. Just, just a little bit. Oh, and look at that. Okay, this is this is going really well. Usually these scenarios, I've only done a couple of them, are not this easy. But I found all the clues, so let's see if we can put this in order. So obviously it starts off with the logs falling off of a logging trailer up top. Then it's either this one, one of the log smashes into the car behind. A loose branch gets stuck in the compact's wheel, making it impossible to churn. Okay, obviously then this is first, this is second, that's why it got smashed in. Talk about unlucky, getting a stick wedged into your wheel. And then Aristo turns away from the accident but loses control and hits a tree, which was that one on the other side. Scenario is done and a complete success. Well, we'll see that in a second. Aristo is fine, the branch that pierced his chest missed his lungs, okay, great. Looks like he returned to work and it became a minor episode in his life, so I'm glad to see that he's okay. Unfortunately, these two are dead. Looks like they sued the uh, truck driver who gave them enough money to pay for his orph orphan child's college. Well, that's, that's kind of happy, I guess. I actually kind of like that each character gets a little bit of a backstory, because you kind of know what happens after it. Um, despite suffering over only minor in in injuries, Tiva suffered greatly from the accident. The moment she regained consciousness, she blamed herself for not avoiding the car. Despite extensive therapy, she was never confident enough to drive a car again. Well, that's sad. Alright, I, I like that there's uplifting music after that. that. That got real, real quick. It's not always a happy ending, I guess. All right, we haven't unlocked any new scenarios, so let's go for a snowstorm in good old Russia and see what happens there. Oh, well, this hits close to home. This is kind of what I see for half of the year being Canadian. Anyways, well, there's our first culprit. Is that it? Just one? Um, hold on. It's gonna take a while to stop. I mean, there is snow on the ground after all. Oh, it looks like there's actually a pull-in place here. And is that... Is that part of... What the... Did you drag a house? All right, do that. Oh, great, no signal. Of course there's no signal. Let me guess, I have to go get one of their phones. Hello? Can I, can I get in? Blocked. Um, okay, I, obviously I can't get in this. What the hell did you, you literally dragged the house. I love this. These guys are just driving by. They don't even care. And they're going at like Mach 10. Don't you know you gotta got kind of slow down in snowstorms? I guess not in Russia, let's be honest here. Okay, please tell me there's a phone. Yes, perfect. Let's just use this phone. Thank God there wasn't a lock screen. You dead over there, man? Okay, actually, everybody's alive. So at least we know that. These people are all okay for the time being. Um, secure the area. Okay, so we need to turn off ignition to the vehicle. Mark accident location. Typical starting stuff. Ah! Ah, Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Well, at least they honk, but that scared the hell out of me. That's gotta be like 15 cars that have passed this. Not one has stopped. Okay, so I need to mark accident location. I'm freaking out again. I'm wasting time. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Are you... Ah, God, stop! What is the point of this if they're not even gonna stop? Now, how the hell am I gonna turn off this one? I guess I only have to mark one side of the street here. Not really sure why. In every other scenario, I've had to mark both sides, and it makes sense to mark both sides. But let's not worry about that right now. We have bigger problems to deal with. We have to move all this stuff out of the way so we can get in there and save some lives, damn it. Okay, hello. Please don't run into buildings. All right, Igor, are you okay, buddy? How's it going? Let me take off the seatbelt. Actually, I guess I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to shake you first. Okay, that's the important part. Now I can take off the seatbelt. Not sure why I couldn't do that first, but okay. Yeah, man, you you, you breathing. You doing all right, okay? I'll, I'll be back. You're actually the most healthiest. Wait, how, how, how am I going to get to your wonderful wife? Let me see here. Um, st Everything's stuck. I, I don't know how to get in. Everything is stuck. Oh, God. I'm, I'm actually getting a little nervous now. Just... Okay, blocked by a window. I wonder, should I smash the window? That's probably what would I have to do. Okay, these people are dying quickly. You know what? I did waste a lot of time there. Let's rewind time. Oh, damn it. I accidentally rewinded all the way back to this, but that's fine. Now we're really gonna do this efficiently. Okay, so we gotta... <laughs> really? Oh, well, at least we can rewind time. Don't you wish you had this in real life? <laughs> I swear I looked. God damn it, I missed it again. But I swear I looked before crossing the road. Obviously, my view distance is not the best in this snowstorm. Okay, well, we're all the way back at the start. 
obviously I'll get back to where we were. Okay, I found something magical. It's called a window switch. There we go. We don't need to break the window. There's electronics to, to save time. Ma'am! Ma'am, I'm here to save lives. You're wearing a great skirt, lady. An absolute great one. Okay, come on. There you go. Open that mouth. Okay, she's, she's breathing, but it... Oh, actually, she's breathing pretty good. I feel like she's going down pretty quickly. Obviously, so is the other guy, though. I guess I should um, do my coordinates as well while I'm running to the other car. Again, gotta save time anywhere I can. All right, so now paramedics should be coming. Let's try not to die while we're crossing the street. Because Russia be crazy. Okay, I'm getting nervous. That lady's going down quickly here. I, I have to go save her. But obviously, I gotta check this guy first. All right, buddy. Can't get in the other side, obviously. I'm gonna have to check from over here. Oh, man. Oh, you are not doing good. There we go. Yeah, that, that's definitely a wound there. He is still breathing. It looks like he possibly shit his pants. Protect the victims from the cold. Um, why the frick? What, what am I supposed to do? Cuddle? Try and put a bandage on the driver's head. Okay, so yeah, let's get this guy done first. I'm assuming I need to close these to keep them warm. I kind of left the window open for the old lady. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is roll that window up. There we go, that helps one, two. What else do you want me to do? Aw, oh, damn it, there's something with the, with the truck probably. Possibly there's a medical blanket in here, I don't know. It told me to bandage the guy first, so I'm gonna take a risk. That lady is going down quick though, man. Okay, well, where the hell did I drag him? I click. Where the hell did Igor go? Igor? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so, I'm so stressed right now. Put on the gloves. Get that bandage. I'm smart. I thought I was supposed to protect him from the cold, not lay him in a snowbank. Okay, I have to pick him up. Ah, uh, it's gonna be very dangerous. Put the man in your car. Okay, come on, man. This is like a depressing game of Frogger right now. Where is? Where if I screw up, I, I just kill people. Do I really have to hold Igor like that? Ah, God damn it, stop! But seriously, do I really have to hold Igor like this? This is awkward. All right, Igor, this car is now yours. Am I supposed to put him in the back? Yeah, let's just throw, just throw him in the back. There we go. Igor is clearly drunk. Okay, wait for help to arrive. What about the lady? Should I do like CPR on her or something? Well, I guess we'll go sit with Igor while we wait. May as well not be out in the cold. Igor, you, you, you comfy back there, bud? Oh, I actually have to hit wait. Okay. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Oh, man. If I would have killed the people because of that, that would have been the worst. Okay. Well, it looks like... It, I hope everybody stayed alive. I don't know how long we had to wait for. Igor is no longer in the back of my seat, so... I'm assuming everything's good. Now we need to figure out what the F happened here. Like, seriously? What did you hit? Where did you hit a building? Okay, so I'm assuming it was this thing that they hit, because there's one on the other side. Okay, I did see some glass on the road or something back here, so let's go grab that. That should definitely be a clue. Oh, there's actually, okay, there's skid marks here I didn't even see. All right, we got more skid marks here. Um, God, there's skid marks everywhere. This one's gonna be a little bit harder than the last one. And then we got, yeah, debris. So that's five out of six. Is this another skid mark clue? Okay, that's all of them. All right, so let's try and figure out what the hell went on here. So yeah, this guy did a controlled skid and hit the parking area, uh, cause there's one on the other side. So I, I thought he dragged that. No, <laughs> that would have been hilarious though. So let's see, Igor slams on the brakes, which locks all four wheels. It looks like he already hit it possibly though. All right, so it's gotta be Vadim loses control of his car while changing lanes. And then he collides with that name's car. My, my Whatever it is. I think that's the next one. Vadim collides with the car. Possibly pick up, spins around, and slides into a tree after that. Yeah, I think that's it. And then Igor manages to control the slide and turn into the parking area, which then he locks all four wheels and crashes right into the shed. I am a detective. Despite losing consciousness after hitting the shack, Igor didn't suffer any serious injuries. That's great. During the accident, Lesla suffered only minor injuries. Unfortunately, due to her advanced age and overall poor health, her recovery was slow and prob problematic. With the support of her husband and their children, she left the hospital after a few months. Okay, well, I mean, at least it's somewhat positive. Vadim's head injury wasn't the most serious threat to his life. Colliding with a tree crushed several of his ribs, which caused a lot of internal damage, including puncturing lungs. Most of these were treated at the hospital, but the long recovery time meant that he had to close his business. Okay, well, that's a little depressing. It's always the last one that's depressing, man. All right, well, there's another VR session done. Hold on, my phone's going off. I want to see... 
what they have to tell me right now. Oh, it looks like we got three more cases because we just finished that. So let's just take a sneak peek at what those are all about. Um, that's the one that we saw already. Okay, so interestingly enough, it's not one of the first ones in this game. But yeah, we've done that one, so not really interested in that. That sounds exciting. And then we have a street race accident as well. So yeah, that's accident in a nutshell, guys. A really unique and interesting experience where, first of all, you're the first responder, and then you're kind of like a detective. And you're also a UFO fan, as you can see by my UFO book here. So yeah, I, I, I don't know what this business is all about. It's kind of a confusing business. Hey, here's some simulated accidents. Go solve them and get paid doing it. I, I honestly have no idea, but I like this game and it actually teaches you valuable lessons about what you should do if you do experience being the first person on an accident. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any more of this. Uh, if you do want to know anything more about it, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.